May Day, May Day. How's everybody doing? We are gonna start planting peanuts today, but as soon as I got to the tractor, I noticed I had a pinhole in one of my hoses that uh, carries my chemical to my tank and all that good stuff. So in the process of getting it fixed, here's my old hose that had a pinhole in the middle of it. So it was spraying herbicide, or not really bad, but you can tell there on the ground. So now I get to fix it. But uh, hopefully it won't be covered in chemicals too much. Got my handy dandy gloves on. Anybody that has ever dealt with Prowl knows that yellow herbicide is just, it gets all over you no matter what. You can be as careful as you want to be, but you're still going to have yellow specks of Prowl all over you. Hop along. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to our channel. Tell somebody about it. Like the video. And let's get started. Shiny new one. That took a while, but we finally got her done, got the hose on, and then of course it wasn't primed up, so I had to prime her up, but finally got her going. So we're about to start planting peanuts. It's windy, but it's dry enough to plant. Solid as a rock. All right, check my seed depth, it looks good. So we should be ready to roll, finally. Getting a late start. It's already 10.43. It's been one thing after another this morning, but hopefully the rest of the day will be smooth. Good morning, y'all. It's a sunny Monday morning here in North Florida, and uh, we're gonna be planting cotton again today, so we ain't planting 57 left. Plant 57 left. And we're gonna be planting 16.46. Got my fertilizer tank agitating over there, getting it mixed up good before I put it in the tractor. And um, got all our hoppers opened up. And uh, we fixed to put seed in there. But one thing I know on a, one of the last videos I was talking about, y'all hear me fussing about my seed monitor showing like a, my hopper's not putting out enough seed or too many seed. I had a couple that was putting out, saying it was putting out too much. But if in doubt, you can always do it old school. What I mean by, you heard me say it, it looked like my seed was even amongst my hoppers, even though the display was saying one thing. You come back here and you look in these hoppers, and see they all have the same amount of seed in them so regardless of what that display tells you if all your hoppers are putting out the same amount of seed you know your equipment set right sometimes even with all this high-tech stuff you still got to be able to do it old school i think today we plant delta pine yep delta pine 1646 Now we gotta fill up a pop-up juice tank. It's in here. Got the line running over there to our tank. I don't know if you can see that wiggling around there or not. Time to start planting. Before I go to lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hoppers loaded up because I don't know about you guys, but when I get back from lunch, I just like to hop in the tractor and go. You don't wanna have to get all dirty again. You're finally clean for a little bit. So we'll go ahead and get this loaded up, and then we'll go to lunch. Planting peanuts, 150 pounds. Throw them in the ground. That was quick. How can I get down from here? Here we are cultivating today. It's Kyle, here with the camera. Like butter. Got the player growing gems back at it again. Planting them peanuts. Keep you over there planting that 5711. Plant 5711. Oh God. 5711. As you can see, I had the hardies for lunch. Mm-hmm. 
kick the dust up. Pick it up. What's up, beautiful? Oh, it looks so pretty. Nothing looks better to me than when you cultivate. Well, maybe breaking land looks pretty good too, but nice and level. You got the drag on it. Looks like you could just go ice skating on it. But you can't, because it's not ice. It's dirt. You can't dirt skate. What kind of peanut planters are you guys running? This peanut planter is over 20 years old, so it's about time to upgrade it. And I'm seriously thinking about getting a crust buster. So anybody out there that plants with a crust buster, please comment. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Or how about a Montecium or Montesum, however you say it, or, or John Deere? Or, what are you guys running? What are you planting your peanuts with? Filling up my hoppers again. I can only go about eight acres. Then we got to fill up. Hey! so you can hear me good. It's pretty much your day when you plant peanuts. Plant peanuts, you get out and fill up. Plant, get out, fill up. Plant, get out, fill up. Fill up your tank. So on and so on, so on and so on. Yeah. What's up guys, today we are strip filling and uh, keep just following right behind us and planting the cotton. I think in this particular field, we got about 160 acres. Cross our fingers for a real good crop. We had a problem yesterday with one of our shovels. One of them broke yesterday and believe it or not, the second one, just broke. So, I'm gonna call Jim and see what he wants us to do. Hey, right, boss. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. That other shovel broke. Yep. E exactly like the other one did. Take them off. Yeah, I hit a rock, but I wasn't. Oh, I'm on YouTube. My bad. And I just said. Oh, I didn't hit it hard. All right. The boss man said take them off. We ain't got time to be fooling with it today. All right. So, it's identical to what happened yesterday. All right, so we back to stripping. We use one trench in it instead of two trench in it. Only like about 15 acres in this field. Just kind of put that Bon Jovi song in my head, living on a prayer. You know, farming is living on a prayer. Pray for a good crop. You pray for rain when it's too dry. You pray for it to stop raining when it's too wet. But yeah, that's just a little quick thought. You know, farming is really living on a prayer. Because you pray for so many things may not always get what you want. The man upstairs has a great plan. You may not understand it, but he does. So, yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for me, guys. I'll see y'all later. Well, this day is coming to an end. I've got 46 acres. I'm gonna need to fill up about 50 acres. And that's gonna be about it. But before we know it, it will be tomorrow. Wow, that came quick. So planted yesterday, everything went well. Now we're gonna fill up more seed with the tender. Kyle just went and got six bags. So we're gonna fill up the tender and that should last me for another 50 acres. Let's get it. Ah, help with it. I'm just gonna cut it. Uh oh. Got all the short rows done on this side, so now planting right through here, and then I'm gonna move over there. Okay, I'm gonna move this pivot. I've already got it walked out of the way, so I'll plant it up under it. I'm gonna walk it this way so I can plant over there. Hurricane Michael messed our door all up. All right, everybody, quick update. Day number two of planning, everything's been going well. Cut! I knew I shouldn't have said everything was going well. I noticed my number one hopper wasn't planting and uh, not sure what happened, but it was all caked up with seed. But I've already done the dirty work. Here's all the seed, turn my packing wheels. So uh, hopefully we fixed it. But I thought I would play you a song. Now, if you guys have been a fan of the channels for a while, you'll probably remember this song, but it's about a farmer's truck that uh, runs into a tornado. So we'll play that now and check it out. Here we go. I saw a tractor inside of a farmer's truck. 
is rugged and rough It looks like you rolled down the windows And drove it like a tornado It flipped it upside down You skidded into town And what used to be up is now pointed down Is now pointed down Random nuts and bolts in my cup holder A two broken KMC cutting coders Is lying in the floorboard with seven pounds of dirt I think I'll grab a shovel and I'll try to scoop it up Under my seat is a brand new gun That I bought from a man said he was on the run With two lighters and one sharp knife He said his name was Billy and I think he might Steal my truck when the sun goes down He'll take my wallet and he'll drive to town Buy me some soap and a thick bristle brush He'll come back home and turn that dirt to mush, yo Alright, well hopefully you enjoyed that song and uh, you don't think it's too terrible But yeah, I've always been a fan of music since I was a kid I don't know which camera to look at, I've got too many cameras going here And speaking of cameras you guys are kind of techies like me. Uh, you might wonder what we use to film this YouTube channel. Well, uh, this camera here is a GoPro 9. Then we've got this camera, which is a Canon M50. And then that camera here is a uh, GoPro 8. And out of all my cameras, the funnest I have is my GoPro drone, which is right here. Hopefully that worked. But it's got the GoPro 6 on it. Uh, yeah, super, super fun to fly, easy to fly, looks great, steady, good footage. And uh, yeah, that's what we use to, uh, to make all these uh, YouTube videos. All right, that is going to be it. Appreciate you guys watching, all the subscribers, the likes, the comments. Thank you so much. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And uh, it's pretty windy. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Jesus loves you. Keep it in the field rows. See you guys. Bye.